Hey everyone, a nerd named Mark here, and today I'm doing a video uh, because it is the fifth anniversary of Power Rangers. That's right. Ah, I got the Blu-ray right here. I also have the little special edition Blu-ray that came with like a graphic novel that was like a Target exclusive. Um, so I didn't even realize it's been five years. Like I forgot this movie came out in 2017, and you know, very polarizing film. You know, obviously, we those of you who are on the Twitter and do Power Ranger stuff, you see the tweet almost every day, every other day, where someone's like, you know, daily reminder that Power Rangers 2017 is underrated or slept on or underappreciated and that we need to respect it more. And I agree. I'm actually a fan of that. Actually, let me change my, my lights a little. A little, a little glossy right now. Mm. Sorry about that. Boom. Yeah, geez. yeah, a little better. So, uh, I want to talk about the film briefly. Now, now this isn't going to be a bit long video essay. I've been adamant. I hate doing video essays. So, I am just talking like this. I'm not talking over clips or anything like that. I just want to talk about my opinions of the film, even five years later. So, I rewatched it because... You know what? Five years. I had the Blu-ray. It's been a while since I've seen it. Let me watch it just to see how it holds up. And it really does to an extent. Um, the issues that I had with it when I saw it in theaters are still there. But I do appreciate the film more. But I did enjoy it when I first saw it anyways. I didn't hate it. I thought there's some elements of it that could have changed. But I did like some of the stuff they added to it from a lore standpoint. So I guess we'll talk about the negative first so I can end the video on a positive note. Uh, I still hate Goldar. <laughs> Honestly, Goldar was doo doo, hot butt cheek lettuce. Like Goldar, just ugh, melted gold. Is that I get it, Goldar, the gold. So that tie into it was a nice touch. But just from a CG standpoint, I hated the way it looked. And you know, it especially from the fact that we had just Rita by herself the whole time, so she didn't have that right hand man that underling doing her bidding it was just her which i'm okay with because elizabeth like really quick positive note elizabeth banks as rita mm. i should not be feeling that way about rita repulsa who was a villain when i was five years old i should not be feeling that way I should not be feeling the type of way as an adult in 2017 adult male you know i was 30 years old should not have been looking that good make me feel that way about rita repulsa but elizabeth banks listen i'm in a committed relationship this wouldn't work out between us like obviously it's not you it's me you did a damn good job as rita you made Krispy cream donuts relevant you had some really dark monologues when you had all the rangers captured and then you killed Billy. Like, you bad. I like you. You're good. You're good. If, you know, I, I, my one thing is I really wish this franchise got its sequel for this film because I would have loved to see the next iteration and step in the evolution of that character. I really like Rita was a very, it seemed one dimensional. I don't know how it was presented, but man, she had those moments. Her with the Yellow Ranger in her bedroom, her fighting them all in the dock and then capturing them, her just chilling, eating a Krispy Kreme donut. And then the whole jewelry store scene, like that was so good. Like I, I really enjoyed her character. Uh, back to the negative. I really did not like the Zords. I get that we're supposed to go more alien themed, and I did appreciate that. I appreciate they really went for the whole this is they are that this power is everything there. It's alien. You know, it's not gonna look like a T-Rex exactly. It's not gonna look like a triceratop or a saber-toothed tiger. It's more alien. I get that. I like that. Cause how would they explain the animals? Is it like a transformer situation where the pod lands and it scans life forms and the first one it scans like a beast? Like in Beast Wars, and the next, you know, that's what it takes on. Never really touched on that. So, in this one, I really like the alien side of things. I did enjoy the fact that there was a lore where Zordon was a Red Ranger and Rita was a Green Ranger. That was an intriguing element because it kind of ties them more closely together, especially when the fact that Rita basically betrayed them 
kill the rest of the team. You know, I watching it a second, like, well, more than a second time, but watching it, you know, recently within the last 48 hours, I Alpha's appearance grew on me. Uh, cause I really didn't care about Alpha, the way Alpha 5 looked. I really didn't. Um, but it did, it did grow on me this time. I did enjoy, you know, Bill Hader as a voice actor. At least I think it was Bill Hader. I might be wrong. Uh, probably. Doesn't say. But, oh, it does actually. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it's Bill Hader. Okay, I was right. Um, I did enjoy him doing the voice of Alpha. It was entertaining. The way Zordon was in the wall was good. I still, ugh, I still hate there was no morphers. How did they have morphers as merch, but no morphers in the show? But I did like the element of them having to train, having to learn, having to become, you know, an actual team and in sync and the synergy to actually morph. It wasn't just, hey, we need you to save everything. Now you can morph. Good job. Go fight. Like, I like that element. I like that it wasn't just handed to you. Here, go morph. You're going to go fight. You know, they had to learn everything. They had a training room. And I did like the way the putties looked as like rock formation style. Like, I really enjoyed that. Some of the action really good. I think there was a balancing and pacing issues of how much ranger time we saw to them just being teenagers. But they did do a really good element like kind of balancing all five of them, giving them their story, like introducing them as characters, you know, learning their personalities, how they interact with each other, you know, hinting at, you know, Kimberly and Jason kind of running away. Like they still had their, their teenage issues and dramas. And to an extent they were affecting them becoming Rangers. Like I liked that side of it. I think this movie did deserve another one to build on the foundation. They had a good foundation in set. And the suits grew on me. The suits I did like. They they could have had more to it from like the chess piece standpoint. I didn't really care for like that stuff. And the helmets grew on me this time around. I was like, okay, I don't have an issue with this. But some of the CG just like the Megazord CG was lackluster. Now mind you, I was a kid. I went and I saw the original Power Ranger movie in theaters. So I have no place to talk about the CG quality of this film. <laughs> when I also went back and rewatched the original Power Ranger film recently as well. And that's another video for another time. Because, yeah, that, mm, that, did, that aged like freaking milk. And I talked a little more in depth of it on uh, my newest episode of a Nerd Name Mark podcast, which is going to be going live in another day or so. Because I touched on Power Rangers that because some people who listen and watch the show don't watch my YouTube videos. So I had to kind of give them a little sampler, a little, a little snippet. But this film really set up a lot. There's a lot of tie-ins. I liked the, the Zordon had a lot of good character. Brian Cranston did such a good job. Like I with you know Hasbro now having the IP and we're getting another film and this and that like I I feel like this movie is just gonna get pushed to the wayside and it's gonna be something that happened it's you know there those of us who love the film and enjoyed it are always going to feel that way I think a lot of people who didn't enjoy it hated it that their mind is not gonna be swayed this is a polarizing film where they're really Either you're, there's no neutral ground. It's either you didn't care, you really enjoyed it, or you hated it. And I enjoyed it. Like, five years later, it's still, you know, good. I just wish there was morphers. I would, like, there's little things that would change. And I'm not, like I said, like, I didn't want to do a video essay because I could have went through and I, the first I thought, I was like, well, five years later, what's all the stuff I would have changed that would have saved this film and they could have made it into a franchise? It's like, no. What we were presented in with, it worked some elements of it like Goldar, like I said, and some of the CG for the Zords, but the scene with Jason and his dad, it, when he saved his dad's truck and like his dad saw him running, his dad like figured like it clicked in his head. That's my son. Like you could see that the casting choices. Great. Becky G phenomenal. And you know, everyone else did really good. It's just, I think if that film had a little more done to it, maybe came out, in 2018 so they could 
you know, do some rewrites, work on the CG, maybe rework Goldar and the Zord, and this and that, I think it probably would have gotten the next film. Because remember, Saban and all them, they were like, yeah, we want to do this, this, and this, multiple films. They were talking about, like, four to five films at one point, and this and that, and I was like, oh, okay, like, you guys, you guys got some long-term plans for Power Ranger films, because we haven't had a film in theater since Turbo, and Turbo. Turbo. That's all I gotta say. Like, I saw that in theaters, too, when I was a kid. I was like, Turbo, yeah. When I was a kid, I was like, oh, yeah. We watched it. I was like, wow. At least it wasn't bad CG for the Zords. It was actually, like, the TV-style Zord with the person in a suit. At least that happened. We got evil Jason and Kimberly, but... Turbo. <laughs> oh, my phone's ringing. I ain't answering it. But, yeah, so with that being said, I really enjoyed... This film, rewatching it, I will say it aged good five years. That's crazy. I didn't even think it's been five years. Like, that threw me off guard. I was like, really? Five years? Like, it's been five years already? And I don't know. Man, the phone ringing really threw me off. But, yeah, after five years, Power Rangers really holds up. It's still it's on a lot of streaming platforms. I think it's on Hulu and a few other ones. I have this Blu-ray, and like I said, I got the Target Blu-ray with kind of like the prequel little graphic novel book that came with it. I think it's, I think if you were on the fence in your, your opinion, like if you haven't watched it since it came out, watch it again. And if you do, let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. Because I, I personally, I like it. I still enjoy it. This is a movie I can rewatch more than once and not hate it. I think the action, the story, like everything about it was really good. Yeah, there were the cheesy moments, but it's Power Rangers. Do we not remember Power Rangers? It's cheese. But then again, we're at the point now where, Mighty Morphin and everything else came out so long ago. And let's face it, from Hasbro merch standpoint, we are tired of Mighty Morphin just getting shoved in our faces for merch. There are tons of other seasons that could be utilized. And I think we're at the point where if we get anything for Power Rangers now from a film standpoint, it should be something original. That's what we need now. We Because we, if we do something, I say we, but like if we get something from them that's original, with no references, no source materials, no nod or interpretation from anything that's already been done. We don't have that comparison notion in our brain to compare it to these other things. Like, you know, you watch this one, obviously you can't not compare it to the first two seasons of Power Rangers in the first movie. You, it's, it's tough because of the same name characters, same, same, same premise. And it's just like, we got it in this iteration. Like, and we got a film, like we, like, we need something original, and I feel like that's what's best for the IP for films, because then we don't have to compare it to anything, and they can just give us something new and original and judge it off of that, and they have no handcuffs in terms of what they can do, you know? But that being said, five years, I love this. I, I, I don't, I don't want to say I love the film. I really enjoyed it, even at my 36 years old, you know, like... I enjoyed it. It was a good action film, good sci-fi, you know, and with everything going on with like more Toku stuff coming to the West and everything else, I think there's a way for Power Rangers to kind of get back to where it was, where it was a part of pop culture, where it was, you know, talked about and making the news and making the headlines and not because, you know, is it five stripes or six stripes on this lightning collection that came out? Why is this helmet wrong? Like, there's more stuff being talked about with Power Rangers on social media negatively, and it usually has to do with merch because Dino Fury is doing great right now. Everyone's enjoying it, but it's not where it was. It's not where it was in the 90s, and this franchise and IP has been around for so long here in the United States that it can get back to that where if a trailer drops or just a logo drops, People who aren't in the Power Ranger, like, ecosphere will be like, holy shit, Power Rangers? I remember that. Oh, they're doing something new? I want to check it out. With that being said, let me know in the comments below what you thought of 2017's Power Rangers. Uh, keep it civil. Don't be, don't be a dick. Um, if you enjoyed it, let me know what you enjoyed about it. And I got some more content coming up. Like I said, I'm going to be traveling. I've been talking about social media, so I'm going to be gone for like eight days. I'm trying to bulk record as much stuff as possible to put up. So that way there I have content still going up for you guys because I'm not going to be creating any content while I'm, I'm traveling. So I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.